In this video, I'm going to run through the behavior of my hot water tank in combination with the solar diverter. In my case, I'm using a Mixergy Smart Tank and a My Energy Eddy, but the behavior I run through here will match most tanks and solar diverters. For this example, I'm using a recent June day in the McGuinness household. This graph has been generated by the Mixergy tank itself. The orange line represents the percentage charge, which is essentially the amount of hot water in the tank. The red and blue lines represent the temperature of the water at the top and bottom of the tank. The shaded pink area shows when the tank is being heated, and a green line indicates the power being consumed. Before I dive into the graph, I want to outline a few specifics about the Mixergy's behavior. First off, the Mixergy is controlled using two main values. The first is the desired water temperature, and the second is the percentage of water that you want to be heated. To help illustrate what I mean, I'll give an example. My tank is 210 litres, and I want the water to come out of the tank at 55 degrees. So if I set the charge level to 50%, the mixer G will heat 105 litres of water to 55 degrees Celsius. The beauty of the mixer G is that it heats the water from the top down. In the day I'm about to cover, I'm using a target temperature of 55 and a charge level of 65. So on to the graph. Starting at midnight, you can see the initial state of the tank. The water temperature is about 34 degrees at the top and about 16 degrees at the bottom, with a small charge of 2 or 3%. Between midnight and 3 a.m., you can see the temperature steadily decreasing as the tank loses heat to its environment. The charge level is decreasing too, which is falling alongside the water temperatures. Once we hit 3.15 a.m., the mixer G will spring to life. Not magic, it's just when I schedule the tank to start heating. It starts this early, so the tank has enough time to put in the heat before my off-peak tariff ends at 5.30. The mixer G is a 3.3 kilowatt element, so you can see the green line jump up and stay up. The red line rises quickly to the target temperature of 55 degrees. The percentage charge also climbs to the 65 degree target. At this point, the tank will begin operating its destratification pump to ensure the, the water is heated downwards. Once the hot water reaches the bottom of the tank, you'll see the blue line jump slightly. The bottom 35% of the tank won't really be heated, but some of that heat would have leached down to the bottom. At 8 a.m. we have the first shower and you can see the charge dropping rapidly. At 9 a.m. we have the next shower and again the charge drops quite quickly. What's interesting is the slight rise then sudden drop in the bottom temperature. Now I would have expected to see two drops in the bottom temperature as cold water feeds the tank to replace the hot water lost to the showers. So I'm not 100% sure why there is only one drop. At around 2 p.m., the house battery is fully charged and the eddy starts diverting the surplus power into the tank. You can see the rapid rise in the top temperature as the element starts heating the water. At around 3 p.m., you can see the bottom temperature starts rising too. This is because the tank's destratification pump is circulating the water. As the gap between the top temperature and bottom temperature closes, the charge level approaches 100%. By around 4.30, the tank is at 100% charge. However, the eddy keeps diverting and the top temperature keeps rising. By 5 p.m., the temperature at the top of the tank reaches 70 degrees, and thanks to the thermostat in the heating element, the eddy cuts off. Over the next two hours, the water temperature falls, but the percentage charge stays at 100% since we're way above the desired 55 degree water temperature. At 7 p.m., we draw the kids a bath and we can see the water temperatures and charge level drop sharply as we're pulling cold water in. 
the temperatures will decrease slowly, just as they did in the early morning. That the Mixergy provides this level of information is great, but I feel it would be more useful to have a line on the graph that indicated how much hot water was being taken out of the tank too. 10 litres here, 40 litres there. I'll try and find a way to track that and apply the information to this graph in the hope that it provides some more insight. I also wanted to point out that since recording this, I've adjusted the elements thermostat so that it cuts out at a lower temperature. Having water coming out of the tap at 75 is a safety issue for me, especially as we have two small children in the house. And that's it. I hope you found this interesting. If you have any questions, please share them in the comments. Are you using a similar arrangement with a solar diverter? How are you finding it? I'm not convinced the eddy was worth the cost, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on solar diverters. I'm Tom. Thanks for watching.